Hello and welcome to the Biotechnology Industry Organization webinar, How to Get Media Exposure at Bio. This is webinar five in the Bio webinar series. It is my pleasure to introduce our speakers for today. Abigail Hirsch, Manager of Communications, Aaron Lee, Director of Marketing Operations, and Eric Missick, Senior Sales Executive. I will now pass it to Abigail to kick us off. Abigail, the floor is all yours. Thank you, Jessica. Hi, this is Abigail, and I um, am in charge of event communications here at BIO, and so I will be your go-to person moving forward for all inquiries and um, media exposure and media attention requests. I'm happy to work with you after we conclude this webinar, but um, just wanted to make you all aware that I will be your main contact. For today's agenda, we'd like to um, cover just a few highlights, um, how to create buzz online and think globally. We wanted to also discuss BIO's resources, including press conferences, and nine free ways to get more exposure. We'll end the uh, presentation with Eric discussing unique branding and promotional opportunities. Just a quick overview for those of you new to the event. The um, convention is considered the global event for biotechnology. Last year, we had over 16,000 attendees from 65 different countries. Many um, elements are included within this week of convention, and they include um, educational opportunities and sessions and networking both during the day and evening receptions, cutting-edge technology that will be discussed um, in various forms, effective and efficient partnering, and unparalleled exposure for economic development. The, um, the week we like to call it the most productive one you'll have all year. You are um, in one place all week, with the industry's movers and shakers and the top thought leaders. This allows you to save time and money, and you'll have access to everyone you need within the industry. Many different um, job levels are represented throughout the attendees. Um, as you will see on this slide, managers represent about a third of our attendees, with executive management a close second. C-level and directors make up the remainder of the attendees. The event also features both large and small companies, with 43% um, or almost half of our attendees coming from small companies and a third coming from the bigger industry companies. Our attendees are um, not just domestic but international as well with um, 65 different countries represented and almost 40% coming from outside the United States. The top delegations year over year for the past three years can be seen on this slide, but as you will see, they're pretty consistent with the folks that come and bring their large delegations. Canada, the UK, Germany, and France have been very consistent over the last three years. And now we'll get into um, the media highlights and um, stats, specifically from last year, just to give you an overall understanding of what we saw in Boston and what we can expect this year for Chicago. The, um, the convention is a unique opportunity to take advantage of all these media opportunities and promotions. And as you can see with the... Um, overwhelming number of media impressions worldwide, as well as the um, impressive number of media registering and attending for the event, which is over 300, with 20% being international. It's the perfect opportunity to promote your company and the industry issues with all of the, um, the individual media outlets within the industry and the trades and the top tiers looking to us this week. Next up, I wanted to highlight the um, media partnerships. These are folks that have um, entered into partnerships with BIO leading up to and during the week of convention. And as you will see, I'm sure you recognize quite a few of the top industry trades and outlets. These folks have a vested interest in convention and have experience and are looking for stories that they can tell 
both in a preview aspect and on site. So I think these are a great place to start for media that you might want to connect with and pitch various story ideas. If there's interest in um, learning how to work with these folks, connect with me after this webinar and we can put you in touch and kind of come up with some story angles. But I think they're a great place to start as far as um, who you should be pitching to. Next up, we wanted to touch on um, the communicator side which was an attachment and um, you all should have access to for this, the purposes of this webinar. It's a great resource that I would suggest keeping on hand even after the webinar as it outlines all of the opportunities that we will discuss during today's presentation. We'll talk about online um, opportunities as well as on-site opportunities. First up is um, what you can do prior to the convention to help engage the media. It's important for you to um, organize what your goals are and what you'd like to accomplish by um, connecting with the media. It's always good to um, share with reporters prior to the event. Um, not too far in advance, you, you won't stay on their radar, but I would suggest about two to three weeks out and let them know what you all have planned at convention. If it's a report you're coming out with, or if it's a press conference on hand, or if it's some big company announcement. They, um, if you share this information with the media in advance, you may be able to secure some type of exclusive. And you also will help build a relationship with them as you will um, be feeding them information that can only help them write a story and meet a deadline. Once you're on site, it's important that your team has um, almost a cheat sheet of strong messages and relevant um, press materials. So if they are stopped by the media or put into an interview, they'll know what the key talking points are. Um, and lastly, if you are interested in obtaining a list of those media registered to attend the event, please reach out to me and I'd be happy to share that with you. We um, sent out a registered media list the first of this month, and moving forward, we plan on sending them out every two weeks. So I'd be happy to include you on that distribution. Um, again, when we're talking about leading up to the convention, it's important that your local media knows that you will be on site at convention and be playing a role in this event. Um, one of the biggest stories that we see play out in Get Pickup is when companies are able to talk about, or delegations even, are able to talk about some type of economic development and the role you all are playing in the local economy to drive innovation. Um, <clears throat> again, if you are involved in a press conference, it's important to let the media know that will be happening on site so that they can have either someone dial in remotely as we offer our phones um, in a bridge line or that you, you share with them some type of teaser information that will be discussed in your press conference and then perhaps a preview story could be written. Another um, successful way to connect with the media is to pitch an op-ed and then your company itself would um, offer that. So you're doing all the legwork and the heavy lifting. And then uh, the media will get back to you, the outlet specifically that you're interested in targeting, will get back to you on their level of interest, but also what story angles they think will play out best for their readership. Um, it's something we do here quite often. And once you have your ideas in a strong place and you're able to pitch the media, they're typically receptive because they are interested in learning more about different industries, but also you are the key thought leader and you carry all the, um, the expertise. So they're really going to look to you to pin that story. Next up, we will get to um, the on-site amenities and services that BIO offers. Um, as mentioned, the press conference, there are two press conference rooms on site located directly next to the media workroom. So it's nice and convenient for media 
to um, get to the press conference. The conference rooms are can accommodate 40 people, and they're already set with AV and a podium with a mic. Um, another feature that we offer is private and semi-private interview rooms. These do not need to be scheduled. They are available first come, first serve. But there is plenty of um, space uh, for casual seating, or if you're interested in a more private opportunity, there's um, booths that are set up that will accommodate that. Um, another feature that we offer is on-site video and broadcast production services. If there's a need to capture some type of video, either on the floor in your booth or within our bus center, which I will get to in the um, towards the end of this presentation, you can work with us and we can um, get an interview set up and then we can pass off the link to the file, the electronic file for you for cross-promotional purposes. Um, and again, here it's mention of the media list. It's probably the number one request we get um, as far as how you can get in touch with the media and how you can know who will be on site. And when we're talking about um, these preview stories or these op-eds or press conferences, and when you're trying to target the media, you want to make sure that you're using the correct name for the Bio International Convention. It's important that you spell it out as such and not refer to it as the annual meeting 2013 Bio or Bio 2013. As long as Bio International Convention appears, the name recognition is there and is something then that reporters can easily look up and find to learn more information about. Our exhibit hall is oftentimes um, referred to as just the exhibit hall, but you need to refer to it as the bio exhibition. And again, it's for the same purposes of people being able to find it easier online. Um, as far as programming goes, be sure to mention keynotes or super sessions rather than um, plenary. And super sessions should always be capitalized. And this year, the event will be taking place at the McCormick Place, not the Chicago Convention Center, as often could be referred to. Next up, we're going to further, oh, I'm sorry, I think I jumped ahead there. We are going to further expand upon press conferences. And when looking to host a press conference, there's a few important questions you should ask yourself. Do I have a report coming out? or any big announcement or something newsworthy to share? These um, types of questions will help you answer, would you be able to get people in the room? It is um, your responsibility to promote your press conference. While it will be listed on the bioconvention page, as well as within the media workroom, it is um, the attendance is strictly up to you in who you all pitch and who you all inform about the upcoming event. Another, um, for the international delegations, if you have high-ranking public officials, these are typically very well attended as your international media that's on site often wants to see who from their country is there and what's being said. Um, the press conference schedule will also be handed out to media at the registration desk, but the schedule is something that is good for your team to have on hand in case questions should come up about your specific room number or the time or the specific date. Other media events you could consider hosting on site would be some type of meal, such as a media breakfast, lunch, or happy hour. Um, as long as you are, <laughs> if you see these people, they're typically happy and will come, and it gives you then an opportunity and a platform to speak to a large group of reporters. It's just important that you all keep in mind that you need to have something to say, whether it be a networking opportunity or if it's um, you want to have a panel on stage in front of these folks. And we're happy to work with you on the content that would be featured during these 
and it could be off-site as well. Um, you could rent out, you know, a local bar or a local restaurant to help cater one of these meals. It would just need to be um, in close proximity to the um, McCormick Place so you can ensure that media can easily get there and get back to the convention. Um, next up would be tips for exhibitors on how to get media to the exhibition floor. I'm sorry, the bio exhibition. Um, anytime you have an in-booth activity, whether it's some type of demonstration or showing off um, the latest model that helps explain and simplify the science of what you're doing, if there's some type of activity at the booth, that's what typically will engage the media. You'd also want to make sure the media are aware of this. So um, you'd want to try to pitch them prior to to let them prior to, to the event to let them know this will be happening. But it's a great way to get media onto the floor and to cover your booth and then they also will have the visual of um, your branding and what's going on on site. I'm sorry, on the floor. Um, also, using the web is a great tool for your stories and your press conferences and what's happening on site. Uh, a lot of times, the, um, the, the media now are looking to the web to figure out what's coming from the news our company's news angle, as that's the first place you're going to look for this updated information. Um, Business Wire is also a strong partner of ours, and any material distributed through Business Wire and designated as a convention release will automatically be uploaded to the convention website. Um, and then next up, we have uh, pitching the show daily. Which for those of you who are not familiar, it's a, historically been a print publication distributed in high traffic areas of the convention itself, as well as hotels within um, the convention block. This year, we will also be featuring um, the select content to be displayed in the video show daily as well as on our blog, Biotech Now. The deadline has, um, it closed last month, but because of this webinar, we want to give you all an opportunity to submit a preview story. That can be sent to me via email at ahirsch at bio.org. The submission deadline has been extended to March 15th to give you all this opportunity to submit. If you have any questions about what type of content we're looking for or word links or would you like to see samples from last year, again, shoot me an email and I'd be happy to share that information with you. And lastly, I wanted to touch on um, our blog, Biotech Now, which was mentioned in the previous slide. It is a, um, an easy and great way to connect with our online audience. It gives you exposure and visibility in the social media world. It typically receives over 17,000 page views a month, and during the week of convention, traffic increases an additional 60%. Uh, guest blog posts typically make up some of our site's most popular content, as it's coming from a voice other than bio. It's important to remember that while there's increased visibility during the week of convention, it's the months after that greatly contribute to blog traffic as well. The blogs that you or your company would offer, you're, you're free to cross-promote on your own site, and it's um, an easy way then to connect to convention and to bio. Um, if you have any questions about submitting a guest blog, again, follow up with me after this webinar, and I'd be happy to discuss further with you and share um, samples and tips for producing a strong blog. I think that's it on my end. Just wanted to open the floor and see if there are any questions. Thank you very much, Abigail. And just a reminder to our attendees, if you do have a question, just click on the Q&A button in the upper left-hand corner of the webinar window, type in your question, and then click the Ask button to submit it. 
We do have a few questions that have come in. First one, what is the deadline to submit an article for Show Daily? So that deadline has been extended for this audience, and you have a week. So next um, Tuesday, March 12th, is when we are looking to get those submissions in from you all. And you could submit them to myself directly via email at ahirsch at bio.org. Or if you have any questions about the submission process, feel free to reach out to me as well. Thank you very much. Uh, another question, how do I get access to the registered media list? That can, again, be um, directed my way. Send me an email at ahirschauto.org, and I'd be happy to get you on our distribution for the media list. Like I said earlier, it will be going out um, the middle of this month, and then again at the end of this month, and then again um, middle of April, and it will go out again um, the week of convention. So we're going to try to get it out every two weeks uh, with the last list having gone out the first of this month. Thank you very much. Uh, another question, do the external venues for off-site activities have to be an affiliate of BIO? No, they don't. Um, we'd be happy to work with you for suggestions or what has worked in the past as far as off-site venues or um, some type of media event. But you are free to choose um, and select whichever venue you see fit. Thank you. Another question. How busy do journalists tend to be at BIO? Is it absolutely necessary to book appointments ahead of time? I would suggest um, I mean, it's a great question. I would suggest yes, particularly on Tuesday and Wednesday when the program is packed with super sessions and keynotes. Um, I would suggest getting on the, um, the media you're interested in speaking with radar to at least pick, you know, nail down a day and maybe a time frame. But um, typically, yes, they are very busy. They're, they're on site to um, – get stories out under a tight deadline. Thank you very much. And I believe we'll go ahead and move on to the next section of the presentation. Uh, feel free to continue submitting questions as we will be taking more questions at the end of the webinar. And now I would like to pass it to Erin to continue with the presentation. Great. Thank you, Jessica, and thank you, Abigail. A lot of useful information there. Um, I just wanted to kind of give a brief overview of how social media can help supplement all your efforts um, and help engage the media, um, whether you're exhibiting, speaking, sponsoring an event, you know, participating and partnering. We really uh, view our social media platforms as an extension to all the other ways that you're trying to build your brand uh, before, during, and after the convention. So here is just kind of a quick kind of grid that gives you the basics of our different communities. Um, the ones that are most active are really our LinkedIn and Twitter accounts. Um, our LinkedIn group is called the My Bio Community, and it is uh, growing day by day. We're at about 29,000 uh, members. So we really encourage you to go there and start a conversation, post a discussion. And I actually have a couple slides to walk you through how to do that for folks that might not be as comfortable with LinkedIn. But what we wanted to do today um, was try to give you a couple of ideas that really don't cost you anything. So um, from a marketing perspective, we just are very much committed to helping extend your brand and get you more ROI at the convention. And we heavily um, – uh, are committed to our social media efforts. So it's in everyone's best interest to try to kind of jump on the bandwagon and, and get active and start using our hashtags. So I wanted to highlight a couple of those. Um, so each year we um, change our hashtag based on, based on the year. So it's hashtag bio2013, and that's the main convention hashtag. Um, our main convention Twitter handle is at bioconvention. And if you were to go to that page right now, you'd see that we're we're actually tweeting live with this, uh, with this webinar, and there's a lot of folks who are, you know, actively engaged in our social media presence. Um, I wanted to give a shout-out to Bio in Wisconsin. They are definitely one of our um, number one Twitter 
followers and really engaged. So you could look to them um, as an example. As far as Facebook goes, we do have a couple of pages. We have our I Am Biotech page, which is um, mostly about all the industries and, uh, excuse me, all the issues um, pertinent to our industry. And that is kind of the foundation of our mission here at Bio uh, from an organization standpoint. And then we have the Bio International Convention Facebook page that really gives you tips and tricks um, for planning for Chicago, which is 47 days away. We like to reiterate that. So there you'll find hotel information, um, meetups that we are involved in, um, and other ways that you can get um, restaurant recommendations and everything else leading up to the convention. Um, as you all know, partnering opened last week. So we just encourage you to just start uh, becoming a member of our communities to make sure that you don't uh, miss out on anything. Um, and in the same respect, we'd like you to use our communities as a springboard for what you're doing at the convention. We've mentioned a few things re re related to press and things like that, but, um, you know, we'll be engaged in the conversation with you. So go ahead and post if you have a, a um, an international dignitary coming or uh, an important person that's presenting something in your booth, you know, we'll be active in the conversation with you, so we encourage you to do that. Um, so the world is watching. You know, we focus a lot about who will be actually in Chicago, but as uh, Abigail mentioned, we have a large um, international media audience watching our event, so we really encourage you to use social media to make sure that folks that are actually present in Chicago are still able to pick up your story um, and get you the coverage that you're looking for. So moving just to the next slide, Abigail mentioned kind of um, when our blog sees uh, traffic, but this is kind of a nice visual of leading up to the event. Actually, this doesn't even uh, represent um, back to January last year, but if, if just to give you an indication of how we're trending this year already, um, just in January we already had 1,200 mentions um, using our hashtag, so we just um, more reason for you all to go ahead and get involved. All right, so just wanted to give you more tips. Just uh, here are a couple of screenshots on how to actually post a discussion. This one here is just an example of a discussion that's in our Bio International Convention group. We have about 2,000 members, and this is where the really the specifics around the convention um, can be posted. So it can be as simple as a discussion with a link to your company, with a link to your press conference, with a link to your session where you might have a CEO speaking. Uh, we encourage you to do that here. Polls are a lot of fun, too, and they're built into the system, and they are very easy to use. So as far as the status update, one of the neat features that's available in LinkedIn is you can have it instantly integrated with your Twitter account and share it relatively easy. So here I just um, gave an example of somebody who was speaking um, on a session and linked it to their My Bio um, listing. Uh, My Bio is the personal event planner and it is sort of a, the hub of information. So if your company is active with anything at the convention, you would also have a listing within My Bio. Um, that webinar is available on our webinar page. That's at convention.bio.org backslash webinars if you really want to know the, the ins and outs and tricks of using my bio. So as far as sending a message, you know, um, if you just want to get the word out about a session or have a personal invitation to folks in the Chicago area in the biotechnology industry, this kind of gives you the one, two, three steps on how to choose folks that are within your network that you can get a message out about the convention. Um, or about, you know, a product launch or a big announcement that your company is make, making. Again, it's really easy and, you know, everything in LinkedIn and Twitter is very viral. And again, just to re reiterate some of the hashtags that and, and are handled at BioConvention and I, at I am Biotech. And um, the two powerful hashtags that we're using are Bio2013 and then our Bio1to1 um, hashtag. And then as far as subgroups, um, I mentioned the My Bio community, which is on the slide it says 25,000, which is about a month old, and we're already up to 28,000, um, like I mentioned earlier. 
So go ahead and get active there. And then I'm just going to close the social media portion there. We do have a marketing team um, that works with our communications team and basically um, helping you um, and assist you in how to get more ROI. So at any point, if you have any questions about um, how to engage in social media or need, you know, somebody to kind of walk you through anything, uh, we'd be happy to do so. Um, and with that said, I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to my colleague, Eric Misick, who's going to talk about some um, last-minute branding opportunities that are available to you. Thanks, Aaron. How's everyone doing today? Thanks for uh, joining us on the webinar. Um, definitely some useful information regarding uh, pre-event marketing and, and gaining that media exposure uh, before you even uh, touch down in Chicago. So uh, there's some great nuggets of, of truth there that can uh, help a, a company really brand themselves and get that awareness uh, pre-event. Um, what we'll talk about next are, are some opportunities to uh, brand yourself even further uh, in terms of being involved uh, perhaps as a sponsor or having uh, an in-booth activity uh, within your exhibit space. Um, as well as advertising uh, pre-event or on-site uh, in Chicago at McCormick Place. So um, there's definitely some opportunities there to uh, kind of tie your name in with a targeted audience uh, through that, that evening event sponsorship opportunity. So we'll kind of roll into the next slide that outlines what that looks like. Um, last year in Boston, uh, we had a great space in uh, a very common area in the North Lobby uh, at the BCEC Convention Center, and it was very well used, and uh, much of the space was used by our sponsors or companies that wanted to brand themselves uh, by having uh, activities. Uh, as you can see there, there's a dramatic uh, bean town bar that uh, allow people to uh, do quick kind of lab experiments and things like that uh, at the bar. Uh, so it's an engaging kind of opportunity to meet up with your colleagues, uh, sort of as kind of a destination a meeting place, as well as a branding opportunity for uh, you and your company. And then we also have some after-hours networking events that can be sponsored, uh, whether it's a customized event specifically for a targeted audience of those that uh, you would want BIOS help uh, on getting those, those types of people to that event through RCPs and whatnot, or if it's a very broad event that you would uh, open up to all the attendees to come by um, you know, share uh, share a drink, share a, um, an, an appetizer or hors d'oeuvre with, with you and your staff, um, as well as uh, being able to engage them in meaningful conversation uh, after the convention uh, hours. So there's uh, definitely a lot of opportunity for that. In addition, we do have uh, space on the exhibit floor. Uh, it's called the What's Your Bio Theater. Uh, here is a uh, uh, 2012 event that was hosted by Cisco. Uh, that allowed for, uh, you know, panel discussions followed by uh, a light networking affair with some uh, uh, light food and beverage as well. But it, this space allows you to have uh, kind of a, an intimate setting on the exhibit floor specifically for a targeted audience. So if you have an interest in anything like that, let us know. We can definitely help you uh, through that process and let you know what's available in the What's Your Bio Theater. Then next, uh, hosting an exhibitor hospitality reception. As you, as many of you probably know, this is always an exciting time uh, on the convention floor. Uh, typically, it's on Tuesday. Uh, this year, will uh, again be on Tuesday from 5 to 6:30. It allows the exhibitors to uh, kind of roll out the red carpet for the attendees uh, with food and beverage, as well as entertainment from their country, their region, or uh, just a little something about their company and the brand uh, to, to further kind of uh, create awareness for themselves. So. Definitely something that all exhibitors should take advantage of if they can, uh, hosting an exhibitor hospitality reception uh, within their space. Why does it give you a great visibility? Well, it's, it's featured in a number of um, kind of distribution segments uh, for the convention. It's listed along with your uh, booth number and the patent guide. Uh, that's distributed to um, 16,000 attendees at uh, the registration desk on site. Um, also, there will be a, a marketing map that will be distributed to all of our attendees outlining specifically what exhibitors are taking advantage of the exhibitor hospitality reception and uh, kind of what's going on within their space so that uh, when the attendees are, are done with sessions, done with partnering, um, at 5 o'clock on Tuesday, they can head right to your exhibit booth uh, for, you know, uh, engaging networking time. 
Also, it's uh, featured in the highlights brochure that was uh, sent out um, uh, earlier this month. Um, that there will be uh, information about exhibitor hospitality receptions, as well as there will be uh, a feature in it uh, in the bio exhibition highlights countdown email uh, that's sent on April 1st. So if you have your exhibitor hospitality reception uh, already into our system here, uh, you'll be featured within that April 1st send. And then uh, also featured in the bio show daily, which is distributed starting April 23rd, uh, and the digital daily, which is emailed to all attendees, uh, even those uh, that uh, perhaps could not join us this year. So that to send out to some hundred a thousand or so folks that uh, receive our, our daily email. So that uh, provides you with exposure uh, not only on-site um, to those attendees that are actually at the, uh, at the um, Chicago event, but also those that could not make it. And then finally, feature in our bio party list, which is uh, listed in my bio and various social media uh, outlets as well. So what's the opportunity for pre-show advertising? Well, we have a number of opportunities for that. Uh, we do have a, a series of countdown emails that are sent out uh, weekly that uh, have a number of featurettes in terms of um, maybe if the feature is specifically on partnering or about international uh, delegations, attendance, sessions, um, specific um, features on uh, different uh, session topics that will be um, kind of highlighted throughout the convention. Um, so there's an opportunity to uh, be an exclusive advertiser on any of these countdown emails, and the cost of, uh, for that is a little under $5,000, about $4,250 if you have um, an interest in that. I think we have maybe four of those left at this point. In addition, we uh, have some uh, additional on-site pre-show activities in my bio. If you're interested in branding yourself uh, through that community tool, uh, as you probably know, that's a tool that's very uh, well used by all of our attendees to kind of set their pre-show agenda. Uh, so when they get on site, they're able to kind of print out their My Bio agenda or use it on their smartphones or tablets. Uh, and there's a, a wealth of advertising opportunities throughout that whole system as well as uh, on the mobile uh, piece. New for this year is the digital uh, daily. So we have um, a digital show daily that will be sent out uh, every day of the convention um, that allows um, for a number of different articles to be featured uh, throughout content uh, surrounding the event um, through a number of different channels. So uh, there's a channel specifically um, on health or a channel specifically on uh, partnering or, or business development, um, and there's opportunity to advertise specifically to that audience. So you have the opportunity to kind of be targeted in your approach um, to be an advertiser within that, and that's an exclusive advertisement uh, in each a channel package. So if you have any interest in that as well, we can definitely share those opportunities with you. Again, another opportunity that's under that $5,000 price tag. And then finally, uh, as far as advertising goes, we still have uh, room to advertise in the BIOS official show daily, which is called the Biotech Now uh, Show Daily, and that will be published uh, Monday through Wednesday on site during the convention. Um, the deadline to contract for an advertisement within, within the show daily is March 15th, um, and then your materials for your artwork will be due soon thereafter. But if you have interest, we do have the number of full-page or quarter-page or half-page advertising opportunities still available, and we'd be glad to work with you uh, to make sure your brand's highlighted not just for one day but for all three days uh, because it, it is done on a three-day package price. So we'd love to work with you on that. In addition, we have advertising available in the on-site pocket guide. Um, as said before, the uh, pocket guide is distributed to all the attendees. Uh, some 16,000 of these uh, small guides get passed out uh, and well used. We see all of our attendees walking around with them and frequently um, going back to them to figure out their plan for the day or where they need to go next in terms of sessions, uh, in terms of uh, the exhibition or uh, other key networking events that they would want to be a part of. So uh, definitely a, a well-used um, publication at our event, and uh, I think there's three opportunities still available in terms of advertising within that. Specifically, the advertising opportunities are tabs. Uh, so if someone's looking for, let's say, sessions, your advertisement would be on that tab that they would thumb through and get them directly there. So there's a, a lot of exposure and a lot of awareness factor to that uh, opportunity. 
Next, we do have um, a number of branding, on-site branding opportunities uh, still available uh, in terms of hanging banners, uh, floor markers um, on the exhibition floor that will uh, get uh, attendees uh, from point A to point B directly to your exhibit space. Uh, definitely a good use of um, marketing dollars as a traffic driver uh, to your space. Uh, we also had uh, attendee bag inserts still available if you have an interest in that, inserting anything from a brochure to something um, that you want to give away that represents your brand well. Um, there's a, uh, kind of the possibilities are endless in terms of what can be inserted in the attendee bag. Uh, and that's handed to all uh, 20,000 um, um, uh, folks, or I'm sorry, 16,000, sorry, uh, folks at the convention. The last piece here is the on-site uh, wayfinder. We'll quickly just run through that. Um, this, these are placed uh, on the exhibition floor um, and allows the attendee to walk up to it, uh, go uh, and you know quickly tap onto it to figure out where they want to go within the exhibition. It takes them to kind of uh, the point that they're standing at to um, the next point in the exhibition. As you know, uh, the exhibition is about four football fields large, uh, so there's definitely an opportunity uh, here for branding because these, are again, are well used uh, in terms of the attendees using them because they uh, need to uh, get to one, from one place to another very quickly, and, and they use the wayfinders to do that. So there's, I, I think, uh, four advertisements still available here that um, uh, we can walk you through and help you with. And that uh, kind of ends my portion of, um, of the webinar. Uh, as far as reaching out to us and us uh, being able to help you or with resources or any inquiries, this slide outlines uh, the resource, resources that are available on our website, um, as well as uh, the fact that we do have some upcoming webinars uh, that will uh, let you uh, know and, and make you aware of uh, in terms of partnering, programming, and more uh, upcoming. And then if you have any questions uh, regarding media inquiries, you can contact Abigail Hirsch, who was um, started off this uh, webinar for us. Um, if you have any questions regarding branding or sponsoring, uh, please feel free to give us a call. At that number is listed there, as well as uh, send us an email to mybrandatbio.org, and we'd be glad to uh, help you out with uh, branding and creating awareness uh, leading into the convention. Now, do we have any uh, questions related to advertising or branding uh, during the, the Bio International Convention? We do have a couple questions that have already been submitted. And just a reminder to our attendees, if you have any questions regarding any of the content, please feel free to type in your question in the Q&A box, and then you'll want to click Ask to submit it. Uh, first question we have, does it cost to have your event featured in the bio party list, My Bio Daily, et cetera? There is uh, there's no cost to have your event uh, featured. Um, if your event is on the exhibition or one of our approved affiliated events um, through um, uh, through that system, uh, we would be glad to feature it, um, whether it's in the uh, event daily on that day, I believe it's on Tuesday, or in the pocket guide or online, uh, we would be glad to, uh, to do that. So there's no cost. If you have any questions about that, feel free to uh, send an email to us at exhibit at bio.org, and we can help you with that. And I can just uh, piggyback on that. Um, if you visit uh, convention.bio.org backslash schedule, um, at the top of that page, you can request to submit a, an affiliated event. And essentially, that's a form if you need help with hotel space because you do want to host an event and you need um, just help picking out a location for it, we can help you with that. Or at the bottom of that form, um, it's the basic information to submit your event to be featured on the bio party list. And so you just give us a couple of fields, and if it's approved, which normally things are approved if it's um, within the exhibit hall hours or if it's an in-booth activity or anything like that, um, we use some discretion when it's competing with um, other things ha having to do with the convention. So that should um, help clarify that. Thank you very much. Another question that came in, where can we find the media interview rooms at the McCormick Place to schedule interviews? I can take that. This is Abigail. They will be located within the media corridor, and the specific room number is in the south building, 
level one. The number is 105, B like boy, C like cat. Thank you very much. Another question, what is the deadline to advertise in the show daily or pocket guide? The deadline to uh, advertise in, in either is um, March 15th. So uh, we would just need uh, things firmed up in terms of a contract by March 15th, uh, and then we would need your artwork by the 22nd. So we can help you through you know, any of those deadlines. We have all the specs um, available and can quickly get those to you to ramp up um, to ramp up uh, artwork, so uh, we're willing to, to help out to, to make sure that you get in and, and uh, receive that advertising opportunity. Thank you. Another question, who is the contact for the affiliated events? I can answer that one. Uh, we work with um, a woman, Diana O'Tierson, and you can email her regarding an affiliated event at affiliated events that's singular, at bio.org. Or if you want to email us separately, um, or you can actually call her directly at 302-537-1232, and she can help you with any hotel space that you need um, in Chicago. Thank you very much. Another question, what advertising visibility can I get for under $5,000? Sure, we have a number of opportunities uh, for advertising under 5,000. Uh, we have the opportunity in the email countdown, uh, which is uh, sent out to about 100,000 uh, pre-event. Um, we do have some opportunities available in the next uh, week for that, uh, which tends to receive a lot of good visibility because we're heading into our early bird registration deadline. Um, in addition, we do have uh, print advertising opportunities that are under $5,000. Uh, that we'd be glad to work with you uh, through uh, within the show daily. Uh, and then we also have opportunities for channel packages in our digital daily. Uh, as I mentioned, that's a, a new opportunity this year. The digital daily will be sent out uh, each day that we're on site uh, during the convention uh, to about 100000 again. Um, and there's some opportunities there that are uh, definitely under that $5,000 price tag. Thank you very much. That does appear to be all the questions we have for today, so we will go ahead and wrap up the webinar. I would like to thank the Biotechnology Industry Organization for holding today's webinar, and also thank you to our participants for joining us today. This concludes today's webinar. To end this call, you can simply hang up.